Hello everyone. Thank you all for coming here. I also would love to thank you for your time to my time to listen to my uh, to my talk. I guess there's nothing new I can talk about. Many of you may already heard my story, but always I always believe it is important to highlight Tibet issue and continue my campaign for free Tibet. Today I want to say a few words about my own experience in Tibet and the current situation in Tibet. My name is Nawang Sangtul. I'm from Lhasa. My father would teach me about Tibetan history and culture. He was a brave man and his words influenced me when I, was, when I grew older. My family was very religious and worked for a free Tibet. My father, my uncle, my brother spent years in prison for their political freedom. My oldest brother even shot dead at the age of 13. As I was born in a such family, I cannot say I was not influenced by my family. First time I was arrested when I was 13 years old because I shouted free Tibet and long live the Dalai Lama. Just these two words they put me in jail during initial during initial non they beat me with many different kind of weapons almost every day. Kicking and slapping are so usual. They didn't even count in beating. There's one thing I want to share with you, my own experience. One day, authority brought a strange object. It looked like a telephone. He asked me, do you want to call your home? I replied, my home didn't have telephone. He said, he will install one. Then he put the object in, in my, into my shirt and turned it on. My entire body shocked and shrunk in a way I couldn't control. That was my first time electric shock. I was still was 13 years old. I spent many years in prison enduring torture, beating, hunger, sexual confinement. Finally, I was released after 11 years imprisonment. The best years of my life were stolen by the Chinese government. Fortunately, now I live in freedom. But every day, every, every day I worried about thousands of Tibetans who are still suffering today do for nothing more than peaceful protest. Recently, there has been protest in Tibet for freedom and call for return to the Dalai Lama, which started 10th March last year in Lhasa. The protest spread out, spread throughout Tibetan areas. This is a clear sign to the Chinese authorities and the world that the Tibetans in Tibet have not accepted China's rule. The China ruled Tibet with brutal occupation. Longing for freedom, many Tibetans have sacrificed so much for in the past, remain as strong today. I respect those all have taken protests for freedom. I also gravely concerned about consequences that they start to face. I fear for those imprisoned because of my own experiences in prison. I know exactly what they can face. Many people lost their lives. Many people are, um, have been arrested. Many will lost their lives be arrested until Tibet will be free.
I don't want no one into that, no one in this world to suffer the way I did. Therefore, I ask you to help for free those Tibetan prisoners. On my case, due to international pressure by the Tibetan supporters everywhere, I was finally released October 17, 2003, 2002. I know from my own experiences, it is very helpful that when free people live in free nations, pressure and Chinese government. Therefore, we need all the help we can get. Right now, China continues to rule Tibet with brutal and heavy hand. Example, Chinese Communist Party forced Tibetans to denounce our temporal and spiritual leader, His Holiness Dalai Lama. Even displays his photo leads them to long imprisonment and severe treatment and torture. Therefore, we need all the help on behalf of all the Tibetans who have died in crackdown, imprisoned, or missing. I thank for your support. Please do continue for justice and Tibetan freedom. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>